When I was in college, I spent a summer traveling around Nova Scotia and um, staying with different interesting people and musicians, meeting a lot of people. And uh, one of the people that I met turned out to have a very profound effect on my life. His name is Otis Thomas. He lives in Bedeck, Cape Breton, which is part of Nova Scotia. And he's a, an instrument maker. He primarily builds violins, but also builds guitars, harps, mandolins, all kinds of stringed instruments. And before meeting him, I really had no concept that any of these instruments were built by hand. I had just never really thought about it. Uh, I was a fiddle player, but just never really gave much thought to the instrument that I played or the craft surrounding that instrument. And so when I met him um, and just went into his workshop, it was almost like entering this little magical world um, that really sparked an interest in me immediately. And I uh, just loved kind of his whole scene. Like he had, a, he had a workshop behind his house in the woods and it was full of tools, all hand tools. And uh, he had a big picture window that looked out into the woods. And, uh, you know, he just sat there for hours, hours, all, all hours of the day, didn't have weekends, just worked all the time and built these incredible instruments and they were beautiful and he made all his own varnishes and he made a lot of the tools that he used and he cut wood from the land that he lived on. It was just really, really cool. And so I didn't leave his workshop thinking that I would become a violin maker by any stretch, um, but it really got me thinking about um, what you can do as a, you know, what you can do with your life. Um, because before meeting him, I, like I said, I didn't even know you could be an instrument maker.